Hi guys, uh, today we are going to see extra low voltage system. Extra low voltage system. So here some guys are six ELV are short form. That means extra low voltage system. So today we are going to see the extra low voltage system. First thing, why we are going for extra low voltage system? This is the first one. Because of the maximizing a maximizing protection against shock so the first purpose we are having a very very high maximizing protection of suck that means there is a zero shock system that means zero human sucking system so this is a very very big advantage of ELV system so this is the first one then the second one is The low voltage system have a lesser amount of I squared loss that means the copper loss compared to low voltage system. Sorry extra low voltage system have a lesser amount of I squared loss compared to low voltage system so this is a very advantage because of the cable size will reduces compared to low voltage system because of the same amount of power we transfer per a small size of cable in LV system to extra low voltage system. So this is the main two purpose of we are moving in extra low voltage system. So uh, now we are going to see the types of extra low voltage system also. First one is S L E L V and the second one is P E L V and then the third one is F E L V. So we know the E L V extra low voltage here. Separate extra low voltage and then protective extra low voltage and then functional extra low voltage. So separate extra low voltage and protective extra low voltage and functional extra low voltage. So these are the three types of extra low voltage having have we first we are going to see SLEV system. So separate extra low voltage. So I draw the simple equipment diagram for the separate extra low voltage. See here. This is for primary, so phase and neutral. So we have a electromagnet. After that, we have a secondary also. This is for phase and neutral. So this is a compartment metal body. So here, we are neutral, we are connecting air system like this. So that's all. This is a SLV, SELV, separate electrolytic system diagram. So here, see the 
primary and secondary is completely separated. There is no electrically connected from primary to secondary. So here no need for acting on secondary. So this is for zero shopping. That means human shop system. So see here, this is a completely separate from primary and secondary. There is a no electrical connection between primary and secondary. So this is a separate extra low voltage system. So here, uh, there is a no chance to fault occur in secondary also. So here maximum we use 12 voltage DC or 30 voltage, sorry 12 voltage AC and the 30 voltage DC we use in here. So this is a one important method and then here we need another one provision for over current. production will be just a minute overcome production will be required primary and secondary also because of there is a no acting system so we need overcome production from primary and secondary also so this is a drawback of ES E extra voltage system so that's all the e S ELB system. Now we are going to see P ELB system. That means the productive extra voltage system. So the productive extra voltage system here uh, when see here here are thing available in secondary but the here no acting connected will magnetic core that means the transformers magnetic core not connected to acting system but the acting will be available in secondary and primary in both of sides but here also the primary and secondary is there is no electrically connected but without acting but otherwise this is similar to S E L B system without a thing. That means the without that don't include a thing. So we are see like a uh, the P L B is uh, completely see like this uh, e e S E L B system. So this is a productive extra low voltage system. So there is a no difference between the uh, SLV system, but here no need for overcome production in primary and secondary. That's only we need for overcome production in primary. So that's all. This is one. Uh, after that, we need we need to see functional ELV system. So here the functional ELB system we need to so sorry for us delay. So the functional extra low voltage system here there is a no connection of magnetic that means the magnet. Only connected for earth, earth of that means the body of uh, metal body of transformer. A earth system will be in primary and secondary, and then the completely separate from primary and secondary also. Here, the functional extra low voltage system we mostly use for control purpose. We mostly use for controlling of 
system so the controlling of system in a extra low voltage in functionally we use for uh, direct current then here the very important thing one is the magnet will not ground on here only for a metal body we ground out here this is the main thing we need to see here so after that the regulations that means uh, extra voltage having a uh, three more regulations the first one is australia australian regulation the second one is brazil brazil regulation and third one is uk and fourth one is us and fifth one is new zealand so so five more regulations are available in extra low voltage the mainly the extra low voltage means the 50 voltage of ac or 120 voltage of dc not more than this is the main regions of using the extra low voltage system and then all over the world we use for extra low voltage some systems so there are. first one is audio conferencing the audio conference system is a extra low voltage system and then video conferencing and then public cutter public addressing system and then interactive board and then projector CCTV uh, control axis door axis so lot of system we are is for extra low voltage system so that's all guys uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel watch these two videos of uh, show in Evo. thank you for watching created with free version for non-commercial use